Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, new Black Sun reveals came out. Uh, Skellige this time. Pirate love. I'm 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 happy to see these pirates. Um, not be so like one of. I mean, you got they had some pretty decent bombs, but their their bronzes didn't really have any cohesion to them. They were just kind of like value drops, which were always good. And you probably just played them with warriors. Um, but I mean, like, cards like Turgvi and Morkvarg now, they're gonna get the bumps from, uh, spoilers, the scenario, but I, I think everybody should have known that once the Skellige one was revealed. Um, let's go through and check these cards out. Uh, kind of a blind reveal, I didn't really look at these, so we'll, uh, see what we can come up with here. Uh, first up is Seagull, a one-strength, four-provision, beast, pirate, cursed. Okay, so it's got some tags. Deploy. Damage three units. It doesn't specify enemy, so any unit. Self-wound. Then spawn a seagull on your in your graveyard for each target that is damaged. Okay. So you damage three. You get three in the graveyard. When an enemy is destroyed, summon self from your graveyard on your range row. So you have to free up your range row to get these out. And they are one strength. So you can get... You can get a total of eight, possibly, if they if you don't kill anything beforehand. Um, minor synergy with uh, what's her name? Flaminica, corrupted Flaminica, boost salt by one for every beast in your graveyard. Not a pirate though. Seems like an okay card. I mean, are you going to run two of these? It's a lot for one back row. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but I like the card. Uh, next one up is Deranged Corsair. Human Pirate Cursed. We're getting that uh, Pirate Cursed synergy, which is nice. Um, four strength, five provisions. Deploy, infuse an enemy with Death Wish spawn Cataclysm on this row for two turns. Then spawn Cataclysm on this row for one turn. Okay, so it's playing for four. You get one proc of Cataclysm, which is three, so that's seven. And then you could possibly get two more turns, which is another six. So that's 13. Seems like a two blades friend. It's just a general value friend. I mean, you get that much value off of these. I mean, the damage. Nobody's gonna run weather clears, right? So you play it. Granted, you have to kill that other unit too. So defender once again is gonna screw this over a little bit. But yeah, that's a huge value. Uh, two blades value. Um. It's going to get weird with rain, so I don't know if you'd play this in a rain deck, but... Uh, pretty wicked card. I love the art. Uh, next one up is Bjorn Stormerson. Stormerson. He's got a pretty beat-up looking face. Um, five strength, two armor is the armor of any value. Eight provisions. Um, currently, let's check out the pirate pool. What's he vying with here? Ryogon. Probably not going to run that because it's rain. Um, Hammond and Olgar. Olgar is probably going to be huge in this deck with the pirates. Um, so let's see what he does. Uh, veteran. So he's a veteran with. Uh, you can run with Croc. It's another pirate. Uh, deploy. Clash with an enemy unit. Order. Bloodthirst 2, discard a card, and then move self back to your hand. So you could play it, fight something, then put it back in your hand and discard a card. So you could put you could put the Morkvarg in, it is a pirate. Um, Skirms are not pirates, I don't believe no. Um 
I mean, are you going to run the discard package with pirates? Getting the... Getting to play this twice seems pretty good, but... I guess it just kills... I mean, it kills some pretty good engines. It is a 7. But do you want to play this again? I mean, it's 8 provisions. If it, if it lands for 7, you put it back in your hand, it plays 7 again. So it's if it damages, it's because it goes back in your hand. So that would be 14, 21, I guess. That's pretty good. I just think, though, it's, it's a matter. You get to pick what you clash with, right? Clash with an enemy unit. You get to pick, so I think it'll be pretty good. You know, I mean, you run Mork, Turgvi, some serious tall punish. You're running crazy. All right, now the the, the big gun here, the really big gun. Um, Endless Voyage, scenario, it's cursed. 14 provisions. They're on a boat. There's the seagull. Uh, doomed, scenario, progress, Whenever you play a pirate. Progress whenever you play a pirate. Okay. Prologue. Spawn Bjorn's Drakkar on this row. Chapter 1. When your opponent plays a unit. Infuse it with Deathwish Spawn Cataclysm on your turn on this row. So that's different. It procs when your opponent plays a unit. So if they don't play any units... You don't get the second part of it. And if you play, if you... Now, there's there's the question there. If you play a unit, if they play a special... Oh, it progresses whenever you play a part. Okay, so... You can keep getting Cataclysms, or only on Chapter 1. Chapter 2, Purify and Heal an Allied Bjorn's Drakkar. Increase its base power by 5, and give it 1 charge. If you do not control Bjorn's Drakkar, spawn it on this row instead. Okay, so what does Bjorn's Drakkar do? It's a big old boat. Uh, it's 5 strength. Machine ship first token, okay. Doomed order damage an enemy unit by one and infuse it with whatever this unit's whenever this unit takes damage from other abilities. Damage self by the same amount. Whenever this unit takes damage from other abilities, damage self by the same amount. Oh, so you infuse it with whenever this takes damage from other abilities, damage self by that amount. So if so you're gonna play the damage package. You're gonna go with your specials. Card type. So you could So it's double damage, so you can use like Delirium. Gutting Slash would do 8 or 12, if I'm reading that correctly. Stunning Blow, 5, 10, or 14. Is that how it works? It seems like it does. So you get to pick the damage. Okay, so it's got some tall punish involved. I don't know, it seems pretty crazy. I probably read some of them wrong. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think they're going to be uh, pretty great. I mean, the pirate package always had a good bronze package. 
And these additions, you know, seem like they're pretty great. I mean, plus two, you could play Bjorn in his own voyage. So, you know, you have that for the double damage, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't know. I think pirates are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for all the love yesterday on the video. Uh, I think uh, syndicates tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Thank you for everything. We'll see you guys next time.